Hi, welcome to Edupedia World and welcome to this course HTML1, the language of the web. Well, I have divided this course into two series, HTML1 and HTML2. So we are right now in the first part of the HTML course. That's the HTML1. My name is Zubia Mughal. I'm your instructor for this course and I strongly believe in social learning, which means that you, I would really encourage you to please um, comment in the uh, discussion area below, talk about yourself and uh, really engage with this course, engage with me. And if you have any questions, I'm always available. I would write back, I would comment back and um, just to make sure that you have all the areas covered completely okay as you progress through this course a little bit of overview as you progress through this course you would realize that instead of just talking about code and how to write code and best programming practices and all the areas of html we would be talking about the practical emphasis of html in your work life as well as your personal life so I'm going to try to make this course really interesting and meaningful for you. Okay, before we begin, here's an introduction about myself. My name is Zubia Mughal and I have a doctorate in instructional technology and um, I'm a specialist in e-learning. I work as an adjunct faculty at higher colleges of technology and I teach computer information science courses. Currently, I am working on a research project which deals with speaking and uh, reading and speaking skills in English language uh, using improvement of these skills using the e-learning, you know, uh, intervention. So I'm currently de designing an e-learning program so that the HCT, the Higher College Technology students are able to speak and read at college level. So, and if you have in this course, I would like to work together with you and uh, we will work together to learn one of the most versatile and common programming languages, the language of the web. Please refer to this course syllabus and email me at zubia at qualityforlife.ae. And before you begin the first module, please post a paragraph about yourself, your goals and aspirations, and why are you taking this course? Let's make this course really interactive so that you, know, you can understand uh, and you can comprehend the details well. well. Well, okay, if you look at the course objectives, after completing this 11 hour, this course is divided into 11 hours, and uh, I'd be using very short videos, and I'd be using very interesting uh, features in this course, as you will discover later in this introduction. Uh, this is an 11 chapter course, and the learner should be able to comprehend the basics of creating a complete website. Assignment will be provided at the end of each chapter and uh, if you as you work through the assignments you will be able to apply whatever you are taught in the class you would be able to apply it and you will be able to learn really learn these skills. Okay, one interesting aspect of uh, this course is that I am using this company and you know a hypothetical exemplary imaginary company green event managers. Okay, Green Event Managers has this lady, Stephanie, she's the boss here, and we have this guy, David, and he's an intern, like me and you, okay, and he's hired to work on the website of the Green Event Managers, okay, and uh, I'm going to make this like, you know, sound like uh, there is a scenario going on behind what you're working, so each one hour module, you will be working with David to a complete tasks given by Stephanie so that we make this complete website green event managers this is a startup website they handle events small events large events and it's a startup and uh, they have a lot of pressure on the employees okay we will talk about this more so the course organization is as I mentioned there is an HTML1 and then, then there is an HTML2 which will follow after this 11 hour course just to give you uh, a brief overview, the course syllabus looks something like this. We, we have an introduction to HTML, tags, attributes, and elements, which I would be covering in this series. 
Then we will talk about more about attributes, HTML headings, doc type declaration, tables, links, embedding multimedia images and videos, and nesting HTML and summing up of the course project. The course project is the final project. The course will culminate in a project and it is called create your own website according to the specifications provided. You will be using the rubric to guide the quality of your work and both the source and your output will be evaluated. Share with us in the comments area below for my comments and we will also discuss how HTML can promote your skills in the form of an e-portfolio. Okay, so I have a lot of excitement ahead. So let's go to the next video. It's all about HTML tags, elements and attributes. Let's get started. What is HTML?